Hello YouTube, another quick video. I've had a few requests for um, knots and things that I use out. When I'm hanging the hammock or doing tents or anything like that, I try to not use much hardware, uh, like little gadgets and stuff. I try and use knots as much as I can because it's uh, lightweight, doesn't uh, weigh anything. Um, you need a little bit of knowledge, um, but after that it's versatile and you don't have to forget anything, nothing's gonna break. Um, so, these are the knots I use. I use three knots for everything. It's really two and a half because one knot's just so simple that you can just do it anyway. So it's really two knots that um, you can do everything with, with camping and hiking and bushcrafting and everything like that. So I'm going to show those today. The three knots I'm going to show are the, um, the stopper knot, which is like this. Uh, I need it because it stops things slipping through loops and stuff that I make with other knots. So a good stopper knot is useful. This is really simple. It's quite um, big, so it stops things well. The second knot I'm going to show you, my favorite knot, and it's called a double dragon knot. There's very few videos of this, um, and it's probably the most useful knot um, I've ever learned. So you can have a look at that. The strength of it is incredible. Um, we'll talk about that a bit later. And the third knot uh, I'm going to show you is also a really good knot. Dress it up a bit. There. That is the Farimond hitch. Super useful knot. It's a sliding friction knot uh, that when you put tension on the line, it grips super hard. Um, and it works in all types of um, uh, cord, including Dyneema. Um, you can adjust the number of wraps to uh, adjust the friction in the hitch um, and the best thing is when you pull it, it just disappears. So I don't know if I can show you that there. So you just pull this loose end. This is why I've got a stopper knot so it can't come off. You just pull this loose end and magically, so this comes out. And the whole thing just comes off. So that means you can tie it um, on one side very easily without going round stuff and whipping it round so it's difficult to undo, things like that. Um, so it's very easy knot. So I'll take you over to the other camera and I'll show you how to do these knots and talk a little bit about them. First of all, we've got this little stopper knot. Uh, very, very easy. Everybody can do this. So I'll just take this one apart. This one doesn't jam like some. Is a good stopper knot. So normally you just do an overhand knot for a stopper knot, which is all right, um, but it's not very big. It can jam on, very difficult to undo, and sometimes this end can slip. Uh, so I tend not to do those. But if you just do a little variation of that, so you just create a loop, have a good tail on it. And then instead of an overhand, which is that, you just keep on going round through again. So you've got two loops. Now, because there's a tiny little bit at the end and all the adjustments here, you can make sure this knot ends up right at the end of the cord. So then you just pull this. So you can position the knot right at the end. And then tighten that. And there you go. That's your stopper knot. Very easy. It's like a double overhand knot nice and big so it won't slip things out. This can't slip through, um, very secure. There we go. So very, very easy knot. Just uh, with all knots, I just practice them a little bit and then uh, you're good to go. So I'll just do this one close up if I can. So you do a loop. You need a bit of a tail on it because you're going to do two wraps. It goes through and through again. Nice short tail, then just pull down, tighten, and there you go. That is your stopper knot. Very easy. For the next knot, um, it's a bit more complicated, uh, but this is probably the most useful knot I know. It's a double dragon knot. Um, it's the, one of the strongest, most secure loops you can put on the end or the middle of a, a rope. Um, some unique features about it, so let's tie it and then I'll talk to you about the features. So what you have to do is create two bites. 
So a byte is just a, like a loop. So you create one byte there and a byte here. So this one has to be smaller, this one bigger. And make it a bit bigger, make it easier for the demo. And then you need a tail that's going to wrap around twice. So you need a bit of a tail on it. You can make that as long as you want the tail. So then you hold it. Okay, so you see that? Try and do it like that. So you can see that. So you just hold it, make sure you got your tail. You go around the back, you go around once, twice. Don't go around three times because uh, it weakens the knot actually. So then you take this end, pass it through that loop like that, and then you pull on this, tighten down, pull on this to tighten up that, and then pull on that. There you go. And that is your double dragon knot. Now it's got some unique features to it. There is a knot that climbers use called the Alpine Butterfly Knot, which was considered one of the most strongest knots um, for climbing, for loops. And this is just as strong as an Alpine Butterfly Knot, so super strong, but it's got some advantages. So one is, obviously it's got strength this way. So when you pull on here, you're pulling on these two, which are cinching down on these loops. One of them cinching down on the loop, one of them's pulling the loops tighter. So that it gets tighter as it's pulling. If you pull on this one, you're actually pulling on this one here, going across, so you're cinching that one down. And if you pull on this one, imagine this is a long one going off to something else, you're actually tightening up the loops. Uh, so strong again. So this is a unique one of the unique knots in the fact that you can pull these two under extreme tension, or these two, or these two, or these, or this. Um, you can pull any one in any direction, and it will always tighten the knot. So uh, it's a quite a handy knot. So for tension in all directions, one of the best things about this knot is no matter how tight you cinch this down. Um, you can get really, really tight. There's a way to open it. So you just push this down, the loop down, till you've got this uh, like loop here, and you just push this over the here. No matter how tight it gets, you'll always be able to push this over here, like that. So once you've done that, it's loosened up a little bit of slack here. So normally you can either pull this and open it, or you can pull these out to open it. So it's it doesn't jam, you can always get it open, these knots. And this works in Dyneema, it works in one millimeter Dyneema all the way up to the 764th Am steel. Um, so it's a really great knot. So let's do it again. So you do make like a zigzag, so two bites with a bit of tail. You can need a bit more tail there. So you just take it around round twice, hold it, put it through the loop, tighten. And there you go, double dragon knot, very useful, very easy. So, um, what's other good features about this knot? Some knots you tie, you need access to um, an end to wrap in and things like that. This one you don't. So you can tie this one in the middle of a line. So if you need a loop, very strong loop in the middle of a line, all you do is take your line, make your two bites. Again, you don't have access to this end. So you just wrap it round twice, push that through the loop. There we go. Tighten it up the knot. Now you've got your double dragon knot in the middle of a line. So now you've got a line, you didn't have access to the ends, um, but you can create your, your loop, which is super strong in all directions, pull it in all directions, so you can make hangers and whatever you need out of that. You can use it for um, a trucker's hitch as a secure loop to create your three times multiplication force on a, on a line, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, super useful in the middle of a line. Uh, there's a third way to tie this knot. So again, just push that over. 
you can normally pull it out. The third way to tie this knot, the third way is if you want to um, take it around something that's fixed, like a tree or a, 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 a loop, a fixed loop that you, you can't get access, uh, you need to feed it round. Um, so you need access to this loop as you're tying it. So this is another way to tie it. So the best way to do this is create a, um, a loop, crossover loop like this. Need plenty of spare. And then you, you grab this one and this one. So you grab those two and you end up like that, okay? You see? This starts to form that bite that goes over the, uh, the final loop. I'll just do that again. So you just create a loop. So this is on top, this is underneath. And then the one that's underneath, you grab both sides. So you grab both sides like that. Okay, so you got that. This is your flying end. You put this through your loop or your hole or whatever it is you need to pass it through. You pass it back through the loop here. Okay, so this is now onto your, your loop, if you like. And then you grab this here. Okay, and then all you do, put this through, make sure it comes out on top. Like that. And again, that's your two wraps. This is your flying end. And then you just tighten your knot. So this one will be coming down. Pull that. So you've got your loop around your fixed, uh, fixed ring. And you can see it's exactly the same. Exactly the same knot. So I'm going to do that one again because this one is a little bit more difficult than uh, the other way. And you've got a fixed loop. Some of the knots you can't even tie this around a fixed uh, loop, it's too complicated. So create your loop, take your two ends, feed it through the, your fixed ring, push it back through here, grab it, and take this, go round, cross the top around again that's your two two uh, loops and then you just tighten pull all three and there you go that is your double dragon knot tied around a fixed loop um, so that is the double dragon knot now, Faramond hitch. So here we go, we've got a line with tension on. Imagine this is a ridge line on the tarp, or even a, a guy line going to your tent, going to your tent peg, around the tent peg and back up. And you want to create some tension on this line and you want it to hold. So all you do is you take your free end, do a loop, make sure this is behind, this is in front. So the one going from your peg or whatever is in front, and that's behind, and then with this behind, you wrap it around, a bit like a prusik. So you go once, you can do as many as you want. So I'm gonna do two, just to show you. So you keep this little loop, then you take this free end, you push it up, and that's it. So then you dress your knot. Now, you have a knot, you can put as much of this out as you want. If you want to lock it off you can do a slippery half hitch I've never had to do that to be honest um, so I just keep it like this this stopper knot's useful stops the end flying out um, but now you've got a hitch so what happens is as you tighten the more you tighten the more pressure gets put on this line which goes through and pulls this end which has the effect of twisting and once you get a twist like that in a line, it locks it with the friction of these wraps. Okay, I'll show it. I'm going to show it a bit closer. So as you pull this end, so as you pull this end, you get this goes through, pulls this end of the knot, starts to twist, and that's where you get your friction and your loop to. Uh, there you go. Like that. It's a bit difficult because I haven't got a fixed point over here. 
um, but that's your Faramond hitch. It, it can get incredible tension on it, doesn't slip, works on Dyneema, uh, things like that. So let's do it again. This time I'll put a few more wraps in it so you can see how to do it. So you create your, create your loop, that behind, make a bigger loop this time. We're gonna go around once, twice, three times, try and keep this loop small at the top and push your cord through like that. Dress the knot so it's nice. There you go. So this is now a three wrap knot and that won't slip. There you go. Okay. So we'll look underneath. There you go. And uh, yeah, it's just super simple. I'll show you how quick it is in a minute. And to, to let go, you just pull it and it's done. So you just twist, round, two, three, come up through, oops, there you go. Dress the knot, there you go, all done, easy. So Faramond hitch, really useful, good for very taut ridge lines, good for uh, guy lines, good for anything where you want tension on a cord, you don't want it to slip. If you're using Dyneema, what I suggest is take a big loop, you do one, two, three, four, push that through. Now you've got a full wrap, which is a, a really a lot of friction, like that. And even Dyneema, there's so much friction in that knot, even Dyneema doesn't slip, uh, which is super slippery. So yeah, you can do four wraps, you can do five if you want. So that is your three knots. You've got your double dragon, you've got your overhand knot, and you've got your Faramond hitch. And that's the three knots you need when you're out and about. You don't need anything more than that. You can do everything with those three knots. Um, so... There you go. Hope that helped. Hope is clear. If you like it, go and practice it. If you like your bling and your hardware, just use that. Um, but I like the knots. They're uh, much more lightweight and seem to be much more reliable. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.